Hello. In this training video we are going to look at how to set up products with sub items, also known as compound items. For our first example, we want to be able to sell cokes in single cans, but also in six packs. If a customer breaks open a six pack to purchase a single can, or purchase a six pack, Robotil should keep track of how much coke we have left. We also don't receive or order coke in six packs, but in boxes. Each box contains four six packs. We don't want to sell coke in boxes. We log into our back office program to create our first product, a can of coke. It will be easier and quicker if you start by creating the sub items before moving on to the main items, or the compound items. Our can of coke is a straightforward product that we create. We only need to specify a description, code, and enter the price. The can of coke has been created. I will add all the products for this example to a different category so that it is easier for you to follow. We will now create our Coke 6 pack. We enter a price, as the price for a 6 pack will not be the same as 6 Cokes. We don't need to enter a cost as it will be calculated for us. We specify that this product is a compound item and add the kin of coke as a sub item. We then change the quantity to 6. We can let Robotil calculate the cost of this item for us, by multiplying the sub item cost with the quantity we specified. We receive the 6 pack cokes in boxes of 4. So we will create a compound item for receiving the cokes. We do not want to sell the boxes. To prevent it from showing up as a product at the till point, we will add this item to a special category that is hidden from the till points. For this category, we enable, hide at till point. We can now create the box product to receive the cokes. The product is allocated to our hidden category so that it will not show up at the till point. Each box will contain four six packs. Our product setup is complete. All we need to do now is receive some stock. We will receive two boxes of coke. Our stock on hand now show that we have two boxes of coke. If we count the boxes as six packs, we will have eight six packs as there are four packs per box. If we count the boxes of coke as single cans, then we will have 48 cans of coke. Let's see what happens if we sell three cans of coke.
We now have 45 cans of coke left. If we count them as 6 packs, then it will be 7 and a half. It works out to almost 2 full boxes of coke. In our next example we will be selling draft beer, in 500 milliliter glasses. We receive the draft in keg barrels of 50 liters. There are several different ways that this can be set up. We want to be able to see at any point how many liters of draft we have left, so we will create a liter draft sub item. We will now create our draft beer product that we will sell. We sell the draft in glasses of 500 milliliters. So we will add the draft 1 liter sub item and change the quantity to half a liter. I forgot to select the correct category. Let me change that so that we have all our draft items together. We receive the draft from the supplier in a keg of 50 liters. We can specify the cost that we pay for a keg. We can then let Robotil calculate for us how much we pay per liter, and then how much one glass will cost us. Our product setup is now complete. Note that we would normally add the liter product and the keg product to a hidden category as we will not sell these products. I have kept them in the same category for this video so that we can easily see how the stock on hand is affected. We will now receive two kegs from our supplier. As you can see, we now have two kegs. That is a 100 liters of draft, and we can sell 200 glasses of draft beer with that. Let's see what happens when we sell two glasses of draft beer. We just need to reload our product list to show the new stock on hand values. We now have 99 liters left. That means we can sell another 198 glasses. 
Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe so that you won't miss out on any new training videos.